Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm Courtney, if you're new here, and I am a part-time reseller. I'm a stay-at-home mom, full-time, basically, with three boys. And today, I just thought I would share with you what I've sold over the weekend. Thought I would go ahead and share the few that I've got today, and then if we get any more sales throughout the weekend, I will share those as well. Um, nothing too crazy. I'll just go through and show you. This room is a mess, so this is the view that you get. This is our shipping supplies shelf. The first one here is just a University of Florida football t-shirt that I got at a yard sale for either 50 cents or a dollar. I don't really remember, but I took an offer on Poshmark for 15, I believe. I'll pop, pop it up here. It's either 13 or 15. Second thing that's going out today is a, I really don't even know what this is. I got this in a thread up t-shirt rescue box and it had some washware and I couldn't really tell if the shirt itself is discolored. I think it's just an off-white color with purple lettering. And I'm going to say this word, and if you know who this person is, you're probably like thinking I'm crazy, but Stussy. It's a t-shirt, and I did sell it significantly lower than the comps that I'd saw because, like I said, there was wash wear on it. It's just kind of a little, it's a little bit worn. The graphic on it was good, but it was pretty worn. But I did still list it, and I took an offer on Poshmark for it. Most of, There weren't many of this color listed, and then I think most of the ones that were listed were around the $40, $50 range. So still did good. I think I sent an offer for 20 and they accepted it. So that was good. And this next sale is actually another thing from Thread Up Rescue Box. It's these Navy Birkenstocks. Um, I think my cost of goods was like four something a pair. And so we sold these on a best offer. We actually had a sale going on on our eBay store for 15% off. And then there was an offer for 58 and I accepted it because I kind of made up my own price on it because there weren't any used that were listed. These are Navy Birkenstocks and a little bit of a different style than the norm. So I was happy with that for sure. So that's the three sales that are going out today. And if we get any more, I will let you guys know. Hey y'all, it is now Monday, so I'm getting all my things from the weekend ready to ship out. And sorry about the ring light. Like, most people don't have glasses in their videos, so you can't see it. But the lighting in this room is atrocious, so had to do something. We had several more sales come through over the weekend on Saturday and Sunday. Saturday, we had six more on eBay and two on Poshmark, I believe. And then Sunday, we had two more on eBay. So I'm just going to go through and share those. I've got five of them sitting up here upstairs that hadn't even been brought downstairs to our room yet so I'll share those first and then we'll go down and get the rest okay so the first one I'm going to show you we have sold some like it before and they're always a very quick and easy sale it's the TI-84 um, calculators this one did have a little bit of some wear to it like it's missing the little rubber feet on the bottom and then it had some pink markings like pen markings like somebody wrote on it so we looked it up this one with this pattern had a couple others listed for around 40 something so with our issues on ours we started out at 39.95 and y'all this sold like less than 20 minutes like they always sell fast but i don't think we've ever had one sell that fast so i don't know what was up since there was already two listed if it was just the price or what but it sold very fast so we're very happy with that like travis listed it right before a soccer game and then I saw the notification. I'm like, what in the world? That was super quick. I didn't even know we had listed it yet. I just sent him the pictures. So it was probably like literally less than 10 minutes, honestly. So if that doesn't tell you you can do this in your spare time, I don't know what does. Because we were fixing to head out the door and got a quick sale just like that. This next one came from a men's thread up box like probably almost a year ago. So it is not something that sold quickly. And I wouldn't just be picking it up if it didn't come in a men's thread up box. But to be able to just list it and have it sit in the closet it works for me i'm fine with those small sales it sold for nine something i'll put it on the screen but it's just a sweater vest in this blue pattern and here's the brand i think it's tricots saint Raphael. i don't even know <laughs> size large 100 percent acrylic the next sale was also on ebay and this one was a cute one i've had these listed for almost a week probably not even and I had them listed for 20 but we had a sale going on and they picked them up for 17 I got these at a yard sale for two dollars I believe these little Winnie the Pooh shoes I think they're super cute <laughs> they're probably vintage but I didn't label them as that but they're a toddler size nine another quick little sale on Poshmark I think I listed these a week ago and I got these out of a thread up mystery shoe box like the 15 pair mixed sizes and these are six and a half so not the greatest size usually to list um but they ended up selling on a best offer for 13. they did have a little bit of wear around the toes there so i was happy with the 13 dollars because with the thread up boxes you want to like list and sell as much as you can out of those um to recoup your money and hopefully make a good bit of profit 
So I guess that's actually the second pair of the thread up shoe box from the last shoe box that I had sale in this video. So that's cool. Um, this next one is a really random item that I sold on eBay. It was not big. I think it sold for $11.50. It's a piece of a KitchenAid mixer, like one of the parts for one of the attachments. I had actually got this in a yard sale box full of KitchenAid pieces. It had the mixing bowl, the lid, it was a glass mixing bowl, and then several, several attachments to it. And we had already sold um, the mixing bowl and the lid long time ago and I just let all the other little pieces sit in a box for a long time because I was intimidated to list them but I finally got them listed and they've all sold within the last I think I've had them listed for maybe a month probably not even and I think that was the last of the pieces to sell so replacement parts are always something that like if we can get it cheap enough we're looking for because they sell not for much but like to get them sold that quick it's been good now let's go downstairs and get the rest of the stuff Okay, down here the lighting is also terrible so i will pop up screenshots of these the next one that sold was on ebay and i've had this since the beginning of yard sale season pretty much around here in tennessee and this is a sack roots crossbody bag it's kind of cute but it did have a little bit of discoloration on the inside or it probably could have sold for more um but you know from beginning of yard sale season to close to the end for 15 dollars when i paid a dollar isn't too terrible i'll take it and then we've got another ink sale but glad to get it moving these clark's shoes they're just little brown loafers they're also a six and a half <laughs> same size as those gray ones that sold earlier um and these sold on a best offer of twelve dollars and i got these i'm pretty sure at a or one of our local thrift stores for two or three dollars so not the best but still made a profit and then the last one, I thought this dress was really cute, and I just got this a couple weeks ago. Um, so I haven't been listed long at all. It is a tea collection girls dress in this purple floral pattern. And I got this for $3 at a yard sale. And I, at the same time, I got a bunch of like mini Bowden and other pieces too. So I was okay with paying that much when I got, you know, several different pieces to be listed in around the same sizes. But this sold on Poshmark for a best offer of $16. And when I say um, like on eBay that they sold for an offer. I also don't do free shipping so that they do pay shipping also. So I'm not losing out on that in case you're wondering. So that's gonna be it for my first what sold video, I guess, over the weekend. And we're down here in our basement. We just got a few shelves up here. And like I said, I was a part-time reseller. So still not the most organized because we didn't have too many things listed. So I find it pretty easily. But now that I'm trying to like ramp up my listings, I'm up to 400 and something. I need to come down here and spend some time like actually doing inventory so I can like spend less time trying to find the item because it's starting to get a little bit difficult. But I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what we sold. Maybe it gave you a good idea of some things to pick up and maybe a few that you shouldn't. But if you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel, especially since I'm new for more people to see me. And if you are not already, make sure you subscribe down below. See you guys in the next video. Bye y'all.